Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to use GIMP to change the color of an object. In this tutorial we change the color of this red car into a different color. So let's go ahead and load up GIMP software and we'll drag and drop the picture of the car into the software. So we need to make sure Windows, Dockable Dialogs and Layers is selected here because that will show this layer section here and we need to also make sure that the tool toolbox options are here so these toolbox options are selected because we need those tools so we, first thing we do is click on this car layer here and we'll right click and we'll create a new layer and we want that layer to be transparent here so make sure transparency is selected and click OK so we've got two layers now let's make sure we selected the top layer and we want to go to mode and it says it's normal so I'm going to click on this drop down arrow and select hue here, this option. Now we can go over to our paintbrush tool. So we select the paintbrush and we want to select a color from here. So let's try and change it to, we're going to change the car to a blue, sort of like a blue purple color, something sort of like this sort of color here. You can pick any color you like and we'll click OK. In the brushes option here, we want to select a hard brush. So this, this one here is perfect, really, this one here. So it's the second row down and the third one across, this one. And we'll select and set the brush size to something around 200, something around that size, and everything else can pretty much stay the same. Now we can start to draw over the car, and we want to make sure that we avoid going over the headlights here and the windshield. We can do that, but let's try and avoid going over those elements so we can draw over the car now I'm trying to avoid going over this headlight pretty much all of this is easy So we're pretty much done now. And using this technique, we could tidy up. We could zoom in here and touch it up a little bit and get rid of this, this, these little bits of red, wherever you see them. But I just want to do a quick job here. And we could even go in the headlights and change these little red highlights here. But, you know, pretty much we've done quite a good job, quite a quick one. But we managed to change the colour of the car. Now, the nice advantage of doing it this way um, what we can do next is we could, for example, duplicate this layer, make a copy, hide this layer. So we've got two copies of this layer now. One's hidden, this middle one. And then we can go in and take the paint bucket tool and we could change the color to something like, uh, let's change it to like a dark green color. So we've got this dark green, we're selecting the paint bucket tool, we'll select this copied layer and we can fill it with that green colour. And now we can hide this green, we've got the red, the original colour, we've got the purple, and you can change the colours quite quickly on the object. So if we were to unhide uh, this green layer, and then hide the car object you can see where you've painted over so you can go in and touch that up and clean it up uh, if you need to oh, it looks pretty good to be honest so that's a quick quick way of changing 
the color of an object using GIMP. I hope you find this tutorial useful. I've done another tutorial like this similar one. In fact, we'll quickly go through that example as well. So what we'll do is hide these two layers, these two top ones. We'll select this bottom layer. We'll make a duplicate of that layer as well. So we've got two cars now. We'll hide this bottom layer here and we've got just this one layer active. And we can use another tool. I've done this in a previous tutorial, but we can go to the rotate color tool here. And in here we can select we want to select all of the red elements yeah so when anything that's red in here we want to select those red elements here so all of the red sort of colors and then we could change those to something like something like this blue here for example and that's another way to do it as well using the color rotate tool I've done that in a previous tutorial so in this one we've covered a, a way of masking and creating a layer in a different technique okay so I hope you find that tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial